Hello, and welcome to another chapter of a tome pulled right off the shelves at the heart of the jackals. As always, I'm your trustworthy host, Lothran, and there's ever so much more data to relay, so let's get to it, shall we? Go grab a filling meal, settle into a cozy spot, and pay accurate attention to Fleet Part 28, Sorting Refuse. Ah, just leave me alone already! Cam pushed at the hands trying to lift him into the chair he was supposed to fit in. He, he gets real touchy about stuff. Go take a break for an hour or two. Mera soothed any rustled feathers Cam's anger may have caused. Then she whispered a final message to the pair of men assigned to assist Cam. Stay across the hall. She turned back to Cam. Okay, we've got all the arms set up. What's the next step? Cam was still just barely finished with transferring himself to the chair, looking more than a little exhausted from the effort. At least he'd stopped vomiting earlier today. Vildar had, had checked his residuals this morning giving Cam the all-clear to start eating again. Perhaps he wouldn't drop 20 more pounds like all of last week. Cam, tell me what's next. Mera put her hand on his shoulder and commented quietly into his ear. He smiled, grabbing her fingers lightly, glad that Mera had so quickly discovered ways of communicating to him that he preferred. We gotta get them all set up into pairs, and then link each pair and test them to see if the tolerances match. But first we have to set up a, a sensor so that we know that the tolerances do match. You know, now that you've explained what we're making here, this is gonna be a great thing for a lot of people. Not just on the base, not just to help with transport through the bulkheads. Mara began setting up the work table for her, what Cam asked of her. Cam tried not to make it obvious how much more checking of her curves he was doing than of her work. Well, not too obvious. Mera had already chided him on several occasions yesterday. He buried his head into his notes the moment she caught him ogling a little too much. It's just a transportation method. It's not really a big deal. Mera smiled to herself, knowing Cam was thinking of her better side yet again. Yeah, but, she emphasized with a bit of a waggle to her rear, it's going to help all of the legless or paralyzed on the base. That's at least 30 people here, and more in the future, and then there's all the old miners and milligrams that will want one. You clearly haven't met any of the crippled miners and milligrams. They're all married to their ships. Cam sorted through the papers for the control box, the most delicate bit of the entire device. He made sure Mera would clearly understand each step, but he might have misplaced a few pieces, so he checked. Mera picked up something in Cam's voice. You're still upset that HQ is demanding an alternate control scheme to factor tubes, aren't you? Yeah... Cam replied mournfully, remembering the best friend he'd known for far too short a period. But, I understand it. It's the same sort of order as me making sure everyone knows to kill the Zarya on sight. Even though Vildar thinks we won't see another, we just can't risk it. Cam hung his head, letting a few tears fall silently into his lap. Mera pulled up his chin on the tip of one of her delicate fingers. You're helping a lot of people in a very dark time for you. You're a better man than you think, Cam Novier. Mera withdrew her hand. Now, which step is first? She knew that focusing on Cam's troubles wasn't really going to help him in any way. So she went back to the task at hand. Oh, first we have to set up, um, Cam flipped through his notes. Ah, yes, okay, uh, we have to make a floating torsion sensor. 
We need to do it a lot smaller than anyone's ever done it before. Uh, you'll need your fix for this, definitely. Got it. Mara waved the device at Cam. Okay, uh, draw a thread on it. Cam instructed, watching the glowing white strands of energy curl out of the end of the device, ready to wrench, slice, weld, grip, or pierce under whatever desire Mera put to the tool. Switch into pull mode. Okay, now you'll have to begin by pulling this stabilized thread wire through that receptor bank right there. Mara performed each of the actions Cam asked of her with relative ease. Okay, that's good, but now you've got to go back. Switch into flex mode. Uh, excellent. Now, untangle the strands till each one is separate. Cam watched, trying not to agitate Mara with too many instructions like the first few days they worked together. She was used to working alone or in relative silence, no matter how many people were around her, and most of those working in the pit, while they were left to their own devices for large portions of the day, it was a little difficult for Cam to keep every little trick and hint to himself, but he'd much rather endure the aggravation of silence than having Mera storm off yet again, leaving his work oh so unfinished. Okay, now for a tricky section, um, we gotta tune each of the individual strands and connect them to the proper nodes one at a time. Should I color code the tips like I thought up after we were done with the practice model? Mara asked of Cam before she bent to her toil. Oh, y yes, please do. That'll make the secondary connection on the other side so much easier this time. Plus, we have a lot more strands con to connect in the larger model, so, so do that. Uh, Mara nodded while Cam talked, carefully grabbing a single strand of stabilized thread to tune it so that it wouldn't interact with the other fibers of its rope or the machinery that it wasn't supposed to activate. And so it is. Our time together has once more come to a close. I hope each and every one of you enjoyed the tale as much as I have the telling of it. As always, I've been your studied host, Lothran, and this was Fleet Part 28, Sorting Refuse. Another tale right from the heart of the jackals. And now, we must once again part ways. Korvoth, guide them back along the proper path, back to the safety they know all too well. Yes, sir, Lothran. Oh, it's good to see Cam back at work to keep his mind off his loss. Makes me feel a little bit better about his situation. <clears throat> back to work, though. For me, a pleasant greeting and a fond farewell to each and all. Please leave all your comments, questions, and kindnesses down below. Don't you let me catch a single one of you leaving any of that mean, brood, or awful stuff, though. You keep all that malarkey to yourselves, you got it? Remember to like, share, and subscribe to help us learn, spread, and grow. And don't forget that we strongly encourage each and every one of you to stay safe out there. See you again tomorrow for Fleet Part 29. Good night and good luck. You'll need it. Bye-bye, everyone. It's been real nice. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.